Hi guys, this is Rosie the Applebaum and I'm here with the TMI tag and I asked you guys on Instagram what videos I should film today and it actually got like super duper late. It's 11.30 at night and I figured why not just do a really simple video, something that I can just sit here and just talk to you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. I have like the most simplest makeup. I just have liquid liner, some false lashes. I am wearing this top from Zara. It's just like a lumberjack plaid red and black top. It's actually really thick, so I'm kind of warm. It was actually pretty nice here in New York today. And on the bottom, I'm just wearing boxers, which is what I wear for pajamas. No, I've never been in love. I guess you can say that I've cared about someone a whole lot, but I've never been in love. I don't think I've ever been in a terrible breakup. To me, a breakup can actually be a good thing because clearly that relationship wasn't meant to be, so it ended for a reason. I feel like God always knows what's right for me, so he will give me the hugest like signs or blinkers in a relationship saying like get out of here so I don't think I've ever been through a terrible breakup like I don't sit at home and cry for weeks like it's just not that serious to me you just get up and just go on with your life and move on I did also want to mention that me and my ex-boyfriend did break up and that's why the boyfriend tag video is no longer up on my channel so I don't really want to get into any details or talk about it but Yes, we did break up. A lot of people say that I look really tall on the camera, like on YouTube. I'm actually just five feet. I think the last time I weighed myself, I was like 135. I am trying to slim down to about 120 pounds. Because I'm so short, I definitely should be about 115, 120. I have one tattoo and it is a rose on my back. Currently, I only have my ears pierced, but I did have my nose pierced, and the hole is actually still there, so if I wanted to, I can just kind of poke a nose ring in, and I also had my belly button pierced, but I just hated that. Like, I had it for like two weeks, and I was like, no, like, take this out. It just really was painful, and it bothered me, so my nose ring I did wear for a couple of years. OTP. I actually had to look this up because I was just really confused. I thought of OPP, um, if you guys are familiar with that, but yeah, OTP apparently means one true pairing, which was really strange, but it basically means like my favorite like couple, and I think it's like in the fantasy world, but honestly, like I don't really watch movies that much or shows. I feel like this is such a hard question to answer because you don't really know what people go through and I guess like in cartoons like I like The Beauty and the Beast. I'm not really sure but I guess I like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I think their relationship is really cute from what we see. Well, I guess it would have to be Orange is the New Black which I was obsessed with. I watched all of season one on Netflix in like a week or something because it was just the bomb like I love that show Orange is New Black you have to look into it I did also try to get into Walking Dead but after like season two I was just bored and I know that's kind of crazy because everyone loves that show but I don't really have a favorite band but I guess Aventura when it was together I don't really listen to bands I listen to artists Something or someone. Either way, like, I miss my father who lives in Florida. I miss the warm weather. I definitely miss going to the beach. Just being in high school, actually. I miss the workload of high school. I used to think I was, like, so poppin' because I had straight A's in high school. And then I got to college and I realized that it is a whole nother ball game. Especially now because I'm in, like, the end of my junior year. It's getting tough. So I definitely miss being in high school and being, like, worry-free. It have to be Necio by Romeo Santos. I am 21 years old. My birthday is November 1st. I am Team Scorpio and I have like a love-hate relationship with being a Scorpio. Let me know down below if you are also a Scorpio. 
There's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, now that I'm growing up and going through different types of relationships, I've realized that the quality that I'm looking for is just someone who's really sweet and someone who's just honest and true to themselves. So I think just being like a sweet and kind person, yeah. Oh, this, is, this one's really hard. I have so many favorite quotes. If you just go to my Instagram, I have like a million quotes. One of my favorite quotes is, The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. And that's by Socrates. And I really like that quote because it applies to everything in your life. Not only relationships, not only careers, just everything. You know, you can't move forward if you're just stuck on the past. So... That's one of my favorite quotes, and then I guess this really isn't a quote, but more of just like an advice, a piece of advice, but it says, give thanks today for those who did you wrong, they unknowingly made you strong. And I think that's awesome because it's so true. When someone does you dirty or does you wrong, like you feel so hurt for the moment, and you feel like, why did this happen to me? Like, why didn't I see the signs? But then you realize that it's all meant to be that way like it, you were meant to meet that person you were meant to be hurt you were meant to be betrayed because it made you who you are and it made you much stronger so there is no such thing as perfect and i just think we just have to go through what we go through and keep a smile on our faces so enough of the sappiness <laughs> i guess all of the actors in the hangover because i can't name them all but I love them all. <laughs> it's between pink, gold, and black. I know they say black's not a color, but it's my favorite color. I like to wear black, have pink accessories, and wear gold jewelry, so I guess all three of those combined. Definitely both. I listen to loud music while I'm getting ready, and also soft music. I guess like it depends on my mood, really. I like romantic music, but I also like turn-up music, so it's a little bit of both, I would say. I guess I would say I would go out to eat with my friends or have a drink or just clear my mind by just making videos on YouTube, and that always cheers me up. On the daily basis, I would say about 10 minutes, but if I'm doing like a mask on my face or on my hair, I would say about 20 minutes. If I really want my makeup to look flawless, or if I'm going out to like a club or something like that, I would say two hours most. And that's like hair, makeup, outfit. But if I'm just like filming or like going to work, it's about an hour. If I'm just going to school, literally 10 minutes because I just put on mascara and I'm out the door. Not in a physical fight. I mean, I used to kickbox, so I would spar, but I've never actually fought with anyone like in school or anything like that. I was just kind of like the quiet one. I wasn't really in that scene to be fighting and stuff like that. Not cute. I have so many turn-ons. I guess physically a nice smile, you know, like nice teeth or some dimples, an eye contact for sure. Someone who is consistent um, and over a long period of time. So consistently giving attention and consistently being honest and just being real with themselves. Like I don't like it when people show me one side of themselves in the beginning and then turn into a complete different person. And that's usually most people. Um, even if they don't really realize that they're doing that. I like people who are just real from day one and like day 100, it's the same person. I don't like it when people lie to me because I'm the type of person that's always going to find out the truth. So just, I like people who are honest with me. Like there's no need to lie to me. Um, it's not fun. I don't know if other people find it fun to lie, but it's just not a cool thing. So like materialistic people or people who are just so stuck on their ways and don't want to like try new things or see things in a different light. I joined YouTube because I was so inspired by all of the videos that I used to watch. I literally am subscribed to over like a hundred beauty gurus and I would just always watch everyone make videos and I figured you know what I can do this too and I want to empower people and I want to share my story and share my tricks and I'm also so open to learning new things like I feel like I've grown so much on YouTube and I've learned so much makeup wise and just like in life in general so 
I thought it would be, you know, a pretty cool thing. I did not think it was going to get this big. I am going to do a whole video on my YouTube experience and, like, things that I've learned. So I'll just leave it at that. I'm definitely scared of spiders and roaches and just bugs in general just really creep me out. But especially spiders. Like, if I see a spider in my bathroom, I literally start crying. I have to get over that fear, but I'm also scared of driving. I really haven't tried driving too much, but I'm just scared of the idea, and I know I have to get over it because it's going to have to happen, but for now, that's my fear. I honestly don't want to talk about it, but it wasn't recent. I told my daddy I loved him when I was FaceTiming with him. Daddy, you're watching this. I just want to say that I love you. Last book I read. <laughs> I guess you can say I was reading Acts of Faith and The Secret, but I kind of read them randomly. So I haven't actually finished both of those. They're kind of like self-empowering books or just like books about life in general, but I didn't finish them. I do have to read Capote's In Cold Blood for an assignment, but I'm super embarrassed to say that I don't pick up books as often as I should. I was watching a Teen Mom special with Farah, which I know some people are gonna like be like, what? But I was just in my brother's room and it was playing and I was eating and I was just like stuck on the show and it, my brother was like, please turn that off. He was just so embarrassed, but yeah, that's the last show I watched. The last person I talked to was my best friend Katrina. She called me because she just finished watching the movie 300, like the second part. And I watched it yesterday. It was such a great movie. I highly, highly recommend it in 3D to all of you guys. So the last person I texted was also Katrina, and I was just telling her about one of the scenes in the movie. And if you've watched the movie, you probably know what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> My favorite food. Oh, this is really hard because I am a foodie. But if I had to pick, I guess I would say like mac and cheese from anywhere. I love Panera's mac and cheese, Boston Market's mac and cheese. I'm just a huge mac and cheese fan. I guess Panera, if I had to pick a place because I love Panera and in general just mac and cheese. I also love mashed potatoes. Let me stop because I'm being a total fatty. I want to visit Dubai. I also want to visit Italy because I'm currently learning Italian in school. I want to visit the whole world. Like I want to go to Africa, Egypt. I want to visit Peru again. I want to go to Brazil. I just want to go everywhere, literally. But I really have been wanting to go to Dubai and to Europe, so. The gym. I was there in the morning slash afternoon and then I got home and took like a huge nap. And yeah. Kind of convenient that today's Man Crush Monday, but not really. I guess I don't really have any crushes. kiss my doggy today. I do get a lot of like hateful comments but I don't really take insult like it doesn't really hurt me so I don't really get insulted at all. Huge 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 chocolate lover. I love anything with chocolate. Strawberries with chocolate, chocolate with peanuts, straight chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I love chocolate. I'm a huge sweets person. I will always go for the dessert at any restaurant. Like, I will do it. <laughs> I don't play any instruments, unfortunately. My favorite piece of jewelry would have to be a gold watch. I always wear a gold watch. Oh, and also, I guess, my studs. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I would say studs. These are by Nordstrom, and they're just the Pave Square earrings, and I absolutely love them. I have to wear some studs every single day. I do not like big, gaudy jewelry, so I'm very simple. Just a watch, usually some gold rings, and then my earrings. And if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll do like a statement necklace, but I don't really go for that. I'm pretty simple when it comes to jewelry. I'm not really a sporty girl. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> 
Last song I sang was literally like 10 minutes ago and it was by Romeo Santos. <laughs> I am not a good singer, but I am always like lip singing and listening to music. Chat up like a pickup line because if that's the case, like literally I would never use a pickup line on someone. No, because I don't use them. I hung out with my coworker yesterday. I think you should all answer these questions. If you have a YouTube and you decide to do this tag, definitely let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I tag all of you guys. I am filming with my new camera. So it is 12 midnight, so I have to go and edit this video and then go to sleep because I have school and work tomorrow. My top, again, is from Zara. I got it a while back. On my nails, I am wearing Pink Lace Veil by Perfect Match. As far as eyelashes, I'm wearing the Elite number 18 lashes. I've been really into these lashes. On my cheeks, I'm wearing Delicioso Pink by Milani. As a highlight, I'm wearing NARS Albatross. On my lips, I'm wearing L'Oreal Ferris Nude with MAC Myth over top. And then I'm wearing Boy Bait by MAC as a lip gloss on top. And I'm obsessed with this lip gloss. I need to pick up another one. For my brows, I use the Soft Brown Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. For foundation, I use my Lancome Taint Miracle Foundation in the color 6W. And if you're wondering, that is from Ikea and it's a bookcase and it is from the line Billy. So if you're familiar with Ikea, you know that they have like sections and that's from the Billy section and it is a bookcase but I'm using it to store my shoes. I will be doing makeup tutorials as well as a video on how I whiten my teeth next as well as my YouTube story. It's just been really really hectic with school and work and also my 50k giveaway. I'm just gathering the stuff so hopefully that will be up soon too. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. Bye guys! Oh, someone's gonna ask where my mug is from. I actually got this from my best friend and I believe she got this at Target. And yes, I'm using a straw because I put in so much work to keep my teeth nice and white. So you gotta use a straw, which... Oh, when I see you girls at IMATS, I'm gonna be just like the little tiny midget that's just like walking around with bags. But uh, what? What am I saying? Tears everywhere. A large, large... <sighs> Moving on. <sighs> Favorite song. <laughs> oh no. Mm, that sounds really bad. We are a very. Let me not go into zodiacs. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, hey. I don't like sour things. I guess like swimming, would swimming count as a sport? Why, well, obviously the question is sweet. <laughs>